Welcome back to Lunch Television 12, 26 on a Wednesday afternoon. Wine, good food. Frank Ostini here from uh, California. Now you have your own winery in California. A couple uh, restaurants, Hitching Post. Uh, now tell us uh, a little bit about what we're going to be doing here today. So we're going to stuff a, a pasilla chili with a prov uh, provolone cheese and grilled shrimp. And we're going to put it back on the grill to, uh, to melt that cheese. It's already been fire roasted and... Uh, and um, it's all has to be as warmed up. We're going to make a grilled corn salsa, and we have uh, sautéed uh, ginger with onions and red pepper. And now we're going to just throw the grilled corn in, which you saw that we were <laughs> we were uh, cutting it right off into a, into a towel. It doesn't roll off onto the floor, and then and then we're putting that in the salsa. All right, this is just a, at this point we're going to warm it up, and and we're putting a cilantro jalapeno vinaigrette in it. Okay. And just stir that up, and this sal this uh, salsa is done. Well, that and was then we easy. would simply warm up the chili with the cheese in it, mm -hmm. and then we have our presentation plate right over here. There. And Perfect. and we've paired this with ro rosé wines, especially dry rosés from California. They they're making all kinds of different um, different uh, wines from California. You know, it's a very diverse uh, climate. We have. Uh, you know, almost every county, 46 out of uh, 58 counties, grow grapes in California. And we have cool vineyards and warm vineyards. So you can grow almost any, uh, any um, grape in California. And we have wonderful weather. And we brought it up with us to be, to be here in Vancouver <laughs> this really weekend. For that, right? So yes. what about the wildfires and stuff? We hear so much about that in the news. Is that affecting they were, the crops we had, we had uh, the fires real close to us, a big fire, and it burned um, over 100,000 acres. But the smoke blew a different direction. They protected our vineyards, so we had no, uh, there was no issues with grape quality oh, or anything good. like that. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Before we go any further, I need to ask you about your hat. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I, they make me, as, the health department makes us wear a hat in the kitchen. I wasn't classically trained, so I won't wear a toque. Mm -hmm. And it turns out my wife brought all these different hats home for me, and this was the most popular. It's made out of paper. It's the coolest thing over. We, we usually cook over a, a really hot wood fire, and mm -hmm. that's what we're known for, Santa Maria-style barbecue in our part of California. It's a 200-year tradition. It's... Um, um, uh, it's a you know we're we're in the country we're not Los Angeles San Francisco we're out in the country two hours north of Lo of Los Angeles and that's what California has all these different areas with, that are rural um, wonderful places to visit different wines being grown in different regions all the way up from above Mendocino County in the north to all the way down to San Diego Beautiful and we're country. located just two hours north of Los Angeles in Santa Barbara. Okay, so you brought us some rosés. What is it about the rosé? And with what we're eating well, as well. Well, it's, it's dry. It has good acidity. This dish has spice in it with the chili and, and herbs in it. And the dry rosé with its fresh fruit and its uh, acidity goes very well with uh, a variety of foods, actually. It's a very versatile food wine, and, and these dry rosés are, are becoming very popular. We also are serving uh, something uh, that's Corbett Canyon White Zinfandel that's a sweeter wine. And, it, hey, if you like sweet wine, mm -hmm. I think it will be just fine. And we're also serving a, a Sauvignon Blanc from Benzinger Winery, uh, um, Sonoma County and Lake County. And uh, they're biodynamic farmers and, and wonderful, uh, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of farmers in California doing biodynamic, uh, organic farming, sustainable agriculture. It's very important in California for the restaurateurs. It's very important to so be nice. using local food that's uh, uh, sustainably grown. Very nice legs on this one and a very nice finish, too. I quite like it. You have a glass there, too. Join me while we oh, taste yeah. some of your creations here. So we're going to try the stuff paper. I should say, uh, pepper, not paper. Pepper. <laughs> it's on my BT blog as well. All the recipes that we did today, actually, the salsa and the stuffed pepper. So at breakfasttelevision.ca. So we'll give this a little shot here. Then, Frank, this looks awesome. If I can do it without slopping all over myself, which will be amazing. It's a rather big bite, too. So maybe I should do this after I throw it a break or I'll be in big trouble. Try so, the salad. Yeah, I'll do that, actually. You're smart. Thank you very much. Mmm. I'm sorry, I miscalculated the size of your mouth, dear. <laughs> you know, you're not the first to do that. <laughs> Kyle got a kick out of that one. Okay, so for more information, you can go on the web. Check them out at hpwines.com or visitcalifornia.com. Frank, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, so nice to be here. Excellent. i got to walk the catwalk after the break. Stay with us. You're watching Lunch Television. Mm.